We are taking out the garbage today. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. So, Deb, we're talking about the garbage disposals. We are. So what that is signifying is yeah. the sound that you get from different power and different quality of garbage disposals. Oh. So since you started, yeah. let's start with that. The first one is called the Badger. And the Badger is a, a very good but basic garbage disposal. And they start at half horsepower and then they come to three quarter horsepower. Half horsepower is a very basic don't throw a lot of stuff down there. Mm -hmm. It's going to grind it, but you might get some clogs and stuff like that. I recommend basic, if you're going to just go to the entry level, the minimum you should have is three-quarter horsepower. Okay. Because that will grind up almost everything. Now, for the Badger, this is how it sounds. Like your normal garbage disposal. Yeah. So, if you step up to the Insincorator, uh, <laughs> the Evolution. The, <laughs> the Insincorator is a brand of garbage uh -huh. disposal, and they have a couple different kinds. They start at three quarter horsepower and go up to one horsepower. So, what are we crushing in here? So, at one horsepower, you can crush pretty much almost everything biodegradable okay. items. So, yes. you don't want to obviously crush silverware. Exactly. No. <laughs> well, that happens though. I know. It slips um, down there. So, so you can put almost everything, but a lot of people are afraid to put stuff down their garbage disposal. If you have a three quarter or a one horsepower, you don't have to be so afraid. Yeah. So, this is the one to go with, and it's very quiet. So, this is the Select Plus. <laughs> And you can hear it's much quieter. So here's Badger, yeah. much quieter. And More then power and quieter. That's right. And then if you go to the Supreme, you can barely hear it. But wow. it is grinding, and it is the most powerful one. So wow. that is the Mac Daddy of the garbage <laughs> disposal. So how much is the Mac Daddy? <laughs> well, they range. Uh -huh. And so, you know, you're starting at 129 up to like 399 okay. So they range. and but. They have longer warranties. So, you know, if you start at the beginning, yeah. you're going to have a, a smaller warranty, and then the warranties get longer. So, you make an investment in your garbage disposal. One thing I want to mention yeah. is when you buy a new garbage disposal, they don't come with the cord, which a lot of people don't know. So, you have to buy the cord huh. separately, or if you already have the same exact brand, you can reuse your cord, but we always recommend that you Probably get a, new, cord, a yeah. new one. Also, another little gizmo and gadget is this is the uh, garbage disposal sink button. So if you're getting new countertops, you can have an extra hole cut in your countertop mm -hmm. and have that installed, and then you have a touch of a button on the top of your countertop. That is swanky. Isn't that swanky? Yes. We love gizmos and gadgets. <laughs> now, a couple things to keep your garbage disposal clean and fresh and uh, sharp blades is right. you can use any kind of citrus. Okay. So lemons, limes, oranges, mm -hmm. the rinds really uh, freshen it up and also um, sharpen the blades. Oh, Putting interesting. Putting ice down there. If mm -hmm. you want to, you know, you should always empty your ice container in your fridge probably like once a month and get all that old ice if mm -hmm. you don't use it a lot. Here we use it a lot in the right. summer. Um, and that put that down your garbage disposal, flip it on, and it will sharpen the blades as okay. well. And then also this is by a company called Rejuvenate. Oh. This is a disposer and pipe cleaner. And this is biodegradable, it's all natural. Huh. So what you do is you run some hot water down with your mm -hmm. garbage disposal on, then put it down to a trickle, put this in, flip the switch on for about a minute, and Let then it, it foams up. So you don't have to be afraid, it's gonna mm -hmm. come up into, and when the foam dissipates, foam dissipates, then your disposer is clear, your pipes are clean, nice. and it's all natural. So I that's like a that. great thing to do. One other note. Okay. This key comes with all garbage disposals. And this is something you want to keep track of because it goes missing a lot. I don't know if anybody has yeah. ever lost a key. But you can see at the bottom of the disposer, and I'm just going to flip this over, you've got a reset button, oh. which is a red button, mm -hmm. and then you've got a crevice in the middle right. for the key. Now this is going to remove jams okay. or clogs. All you do is put this in and turn it. Oh wow. And yeah. if it when you have a clog it's mm -hmm. going to be hard to turn so you just have to kind of oh. oh. get it going uh -huh. and then press your reset button and that will remove a lot of clogs. A lot of people don't know that they have okay. that option and they just think either that it's broke or they have to call a plumber. All right, so Deb, there's a lot I'm of getting a hard wrap. <laughs> a hard wrap. A hard wrap on us, my friend. But we will see you again. <laughs> yes. Uh, in later on in the show. Yep, we're gonna talk about sinks. We'll be right back, Arizona.